We are at the Wisconsin River at Prairie du Sac, fishing for giant fish. Might be weird because uh, I've never actually caught a giant fish in this region even. So may not be the best place, but the deep hole is right off that island tip and right on that tip over there. So we're gonna fish for some bait first and then hopefully get a gigantic fish. A flathead is what we're looking for. There are sturgeons in the water and there's a dead one over there, but I'm not looking for sturgeons because it's not sturgeon season. I'm gonna get some shiners hopefully from the water here and uh, maybe some bluegills. I know they're here and hopefully we can get big fish. A tiny piece of worm fitted onto my pole and we're gonna launch in that swirly region because that's where the deep water is off the island tip. And I think that's where the big fish hang out after dark. The water's gone down quite a bit since yesterday. Uh, yesterday I was not successful. So hopefully we'll be more successful today without getting ourselves all wet and stuff. All right, launch into that water over there. Just set it there. And hopefully uh, the current's actually fairly strong. So we might not be able to keep it in that water there as the Wisconsin will bring this down. But I know there's plenty of sand shiners and bluegills out there. So that's really what I'm aiming for right now uh, because that my friends makes excellent bait. So about the lower Wisconsin, the lower Wisconsin is generally very shallow, less than 10 feet, except at certain places. That's one of them over there at that point. That's one of them on the tip of the island. I think the hydrograph says roughly maybe 20 feet, 25 feet over there, but I think it's more like 15 over there, maybe like 12 over there, because the water is, as you can see, way down from its height. And I do actually think they measure it from its height. So we're just waiting for some sand shiners uh, and we're waiting for maybe a small drum or something to actually um, get our thing started because we do need some bait before we can do anything. I believe this big pole might actually have a fish clinging a little hard. That's what I've been waiting for. It can't be a very big one, and it's not. But I feel, oh, this is a four ounce weight, so it might have actually, I think there's a fish there. But it might not be very, it's probably not very big if there is a fish there. But definitely something hit it, and that's always a good sign. Even if it's just a wait for right now, that means fish are active. And I do believe there is a fish on there. Oh, that is a, uh, it's a very small red horse. I think that'll be really good cut bait, actually. We'll use that guy for cut. So he will be sacrificed to the elder catfish lords, because that is a very, very small sucker. Got a nice piece of that sucker head on there, and we're gonna toss it as far as we can into the abyss. Because tossing things into the abyss is a lot of fun. And everyone likes tossing sucker heads into the abyss. I know a flathead will pick this up, especially since there is a moving current. I'm pretty sure a pike or a muskie would actually pick this up as well, um, because I definitely had pike pick up cup bait. I'm guessing musky bite the, or musky actually act the exact same way because they're extremely closely related. Okay, it's about as far as I can toss out. That's actually not that far, but it's okay. It's perfectly okay. It's like finally something else hit that pole. I'm not really sure if it's on or not, but something did, nope, it's still on. Hoping it's a bluegill or something. Definitely use a live bait. But it could be a larger drum or something, which I can't use. Well, that's a fish, all right. It's a small one. Eh, maybe not as small as I thought, but I think it's still a fairly small one. Probably one of those sand shiners, in my opinion. Very, very likely to be a sand shiner at that size. Oh, it's a very, very small. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a moon eye. Interesting. I haven't caught one of these suckers in a while, but it's a moon eye. That is excellent bait for elder catfish. That's gonna go in the bait bucket as well. I also just like deep hooked it. So it's dead anyways, but a moon eye. Well, definitely got my share of cut bait after dark, but it, and in its current cut bait's gonna be pretty good because flatheads will bite cut bait in the current obviously, but I would definitely like a live bait too. And I know there's a lot of candidates for live bait around here. So we're definitely gonna try to catch either a bluegill or another one of those small sand shiners. But moon eye, second species of the day. All right, let's uh, go out as far as we can in the Wisconsin. About, uh, you know, it's like about in five, three or four inches above the knees, basically, standing in water and then just cast this way out there as far as we can. And that's how we get all these bait fish. 
they're out there, which means the bigger fish should actually be out there as well. That one out in the current is hit again. It's very slight, but I can see it pulling and I'm pretty sure it's not off. Dusk, my friends, it's the only time they hit. Coming here early isn't gonna help you. Coming here later might help you. Do we have, that's definitely a fish and it's a bigger one. That's probably not gonna be bait. That's not that big actually, but what is it? Uh, it's another sucker. Sucker mania today. I already have one of you as bait, so I don't really need this one. And this one's bigger anyways. Oh well, but it is a short-faced red horse. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha All right, I try this uh, fish for bait one more, just for a couple more minutes. See what we can get. I really want a live bait, but Today it not, seems to be not working too good. I have plenty of cut bait, so it's not like I don't have bait for later on, but uh, yeah, live bait might be not gonna be for today. But the cut bait will work in current, and the Wisconsin's current's actually pretty strong. I've caught a lot of flatheads on the Wisconsin with cut bait. The, fa the question is, are there any flatheads on the lower Wisconsin? I have not caught a big one ever on the lower Wisconsin. Hooked into one, over at Outer Creek. But in terms of actually catching one, nah, I haven't done it yet. But hopefully today, we'll break that curse. Approaching sunset, we're gonna go over to this point over here, because the water, that is the deepest part uh, of the river between the dam and the bridge downstream. And I don't really feel like fishing the dam. The deep water does attract a lot of fish. I'm hoping it attracts some gothos and maybe even a flathead. I've got a nice chunk of sucker here. Bloody, fresh chunk of sucker here. We're gonna launch it out into that hole over there. Should be about 20 feet deep, 15, 20 feet deep. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna move most of our stuff over here and see if we can get something. Pretty much done fishing for bait. Didn't get any live bait today, but that's fine. I know for a fact that they will indeed bite on this cut bait. Because I've caught so many flatheads on cut bait that I don't really believe in the flatties don't bite li cut bait thing anymore. Caught them on minnows, cut bait, worms, and live bait. They bite everything. They're catfish, so they should bite everything. Hole's bending again. The one in the current always bends. There's a lot of bait there, which means there's probably bigger fish there as well. We hook the moon eye head up to it after this because uh, it seems like this is the key spot where a lot of bait is. Oh, this one's quite a bit heavier. It's probably another sucker. Ah, I think it's swimming like a sucker. Be surprised if there's anything else. Stream looks very streamlined like a sucker, but I have enough bait, so I don't need this guy's bait. Yep, that is another sucker. A lot of suckers here. Look at that, look at that sucker action. All right, people, there you go. Another red horse. Looks like I let go of the red horse in the water. All right, red horse, there you go, there you go. All right, got a really tasty piece of sucker here. We're gonna throw it out, hopefully into the current. It's had to throw it pretty far to get it in that hole area. I think I just did that. All right, that's good. That is a, that is a big pole right there. Hopefully something will pick it up. I'm gonna move both my poles to that point over there with the deeper water, but this hook with the moon eye head, I'm actually gonna keep um, here near this point because I still believe there could be a really big fish in the deep water surrounding that point. There's structure on that point and fish love structure. And there is very strong current, which is very good for if you're using cut bait for flats. This is the kind of environment, it's definitely the kind of environment you would want uh, if you're gonna use cut bait for flatheads. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not a great thing, but not too bad. I think it's close enough to the island's water where uh, fish coming up from the island wanting a meal will actually look at that. So we got the bait situated. Just gonna leave it here. Finally, looks like after dark, I got something on this pole over here that's leaning into this little pool thing. And pretty sure it's on. That's a fish. That, sound, that feels like a decent one. Might be a drum though. Feels pretty heavy. 
feels heavier than a drum. It honestly might be a turtle though. It's gonna be a decently sized turtle if it's a turtle. It really does feel like a turtle. But it's swimming faster than a turtle. It just might be going with it. What is that? Is that a sturgeon? I just, that will, that's a sturgeon. Man, there's so many of these out here. There's so, that's not a big one. It's not a big one. Oh, it got off, it got off. That's interesting. That was a couple of minnows from uh, the shop. And uh, that was a sturgeon. So that was the first non-worm sturgeon I've actually hooked. Hopefully, you can get something on more of these minnows or a little piece of cut bait or something. You hear that? Oh, oh shoot. Oh shoot. All right, I got something big. I got something big. I had to run over here from the other place. It's heavy. I don't know what it is. It's not a turtle. It almost pulled my pole into the water. It was by that island. So I'm hoping it's a giant. Because, oh man, I really hope this is a giant. Because I've been waiting a long time for this. It's got to be a catfish. It took the head. It took the head. This could be the first and only big gothel fish I get around Sauk City Prairie du Sac. It's not small. That is not a small fish. And it's hooked in good. I don't think it's getting away, folks. But I gotta fight it for a while. Oh my God, I've been waiting. This is the second night here. I got nothing the last night. Water is a little bit warmer today. Actually quite a bit warmer today. It doesn't even look that big, folks. What if it's like just a musk? What if it's like a small musky or a, or a, oh, it's a catfish. Never mind. It's a channel. It ain't that big. Is that a sturgeon or a channel? I think it's a channel. Oh, finally got a decent sized cat here. It's a 10 odd hook, so it has to be fairly big. Oh, I was hoping it was a big, big flat, but channel gothelfish. Probably, uh, it's definitely the biggest one I've actually caught around this area because I've caught nothing but small ones around this area. Probably around eight pounds or so, but channel gothelfish. All right, people, this is a seven and a half pound channel catfish. Between the dam and the railroad bridge, the biggest one I've actually caught in this area. Never caught anything besides bite-sized catfish here before. All right, Gato, you get to go back in the water. See if you can Gato right off. There you go, see a catfish. Thanks for playing. All right, that was close, I almost lost the pole. But that was the first non-pint-sized cat I've actually ever caught in this part of the river. So what we're gonna do, since that works well, since I could actually catch non-pint-sized cats in this part of the river here, we're gonna toss towards Eagle Island again, um, as far as we can. And just leave it in the river. I really wish I could get like next to the point, because I think that would be like by far the best cat fishing. But uh, unfortunately, I, I don't have the ability to do that. So let's see if we can get another big one. I think I'm gonna loosen the drag on this as well so I don't lose the pole. All right, folks, we got another one at the same location. It seems like I was right. And I was right. The, uh, the Eagle Island tip is easily the best spot to catch fish. This one might actually be heavier than the last one. We'll see. We will freaking see. <laughs> Was worth coming here tonight. It's about to call it quits, but it looks like 10, 11 o'clock around this island tip point, that's where it's all at. This one, I don't think is giving up quite as easily as that last one. Last one fought for a bit too, I have to say. Last one did fight for a bit. Hopefully this one's a flathead. Hopefully this one is a flathead. Man, could have easily pulled my pole in the water, honestly. I need to be more careful about these things. This one does feel heavier, but it's hard to say. I don't think <coughs> this one feels like a 30 pounder, but I think it is a little bit heavier. It's still out there. Oh, geez. This one is tiring. This one is tiring. So they're out there. Catfish are out there for sure. 
because nothing over there has actually hit. It's just everything's here. I'm hoping this is a 20 pounder because <coughs> that would actually make my night worth it. If it's like a 20 pound plus flathead, and it's possible. It's not acting like it, but it's possible. Like the way it was pulling uh, my pole is more indicative of a channel catfish. Uh, yep. That is, I think that's definitely a channel. Flatheads don't surface like that, but I could be wrong. Is it a flathead or a channel? I think it looks like a channel by the shape. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a channel. Yeah, it's another channel, but it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. I think it's about the same size. I want the flathead, but it's the channels that are biting. This one's bigger. This one's definitely a little bigger. All right, catfish, come in. Come in, I gotcha. Free spawn catfish. I think this one's probably around 10 or so. <coughs> People mistaken, mistake ones that look like this for a flathead, but they're channels. You can flat, if you catch a lot of flatheads, you'll be able to tell which one's a channel and which is a flathead. This one's a little bigger, probably closer to 10, maybe like eight or nine pounds. But channel guttlefish, the second one. This one is definitely a little bigger. 11 pounds channel catfish. Very, very good fish. Second non-micro fish I've caught on the uh, Wisconsin. Second non-micro catfish. All right, I gotta leave. Getting too late. Two big channels here. Well, not huge channels, but decent sized channels. No flats. I still think there's a flathead out there. I was just not able to get it. There are a gar here. One started chewing my bait and I'm pretty sure like others kind of like stole my bait out there as well. Cause yeah, nothing hooked. Lost a bunch of minnow bait probably gars. So uh, yeah, not bad. This area is between Sauk City and Prairie du Sac. It's the same uh, spot for the parking as kind of like across from the Eagle Landing area, but you have to walk like a mile in to actually get to the spot. But the spot does have more catfish than that spot, uh, but it does actually have gars like everywhere else in the lower Wisconsin, unfortunately. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, let me know. I don't think nearly as many people fish down here as by the bridge because it just takes so long to get to. Not a great catfish place, but uh, not too bad, not too bad. The first non-micro catfish I've caught in this area. Nothing, I've never really caught too much around Sauk City and Prairie du Sac, but now I have. Got a couple of suckers today, catfish, and even a moon eye. So very nice, very nice. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.